Switching gears now, many of the same people are showing up multiple times in courtrooms across Alamance County, and the district's attorney's office is now focusing its efforts to stop repeat offenders. Fox 8's Caroline Boyer is live outside the Graham Courthouse tonight. Caroline, the DA has identified a group of people he's calling a threat to the community. Katie, he put together a list of 64 offenders based on their criminal activity and their suspected gang affiliations. His goal is to keep people out of the courtroom, and he's sending a clear message. Either avoid court or expect the maximum sentence. If you are on our radar, you need to go ahead and clean your act up because if you don't, don't expect us to give you a break. District Attorney Sean Boone is not taking it easy on people committing multiple crimes in his county. And don't expect us to see your case fall through the crack because it's not going to fall through the crack because we have a prosecutor watching you. He has his eyes on a list of people who law enforcement agencies have identified as threats. Half of the offenders on his radar are felons, 80% are gang affiliated and 75% have a history of gun crime. If a small group of people are significantly impacting a community, especially with an inordinate amount of violence, um, we want to make sure that we take care of those 60 people to benefit the thousands. Each person is assigned to one of Boone's prosecutors. Their job is to track current charges, new offenses, and probation violations. These prosecutors are also tasked with looking at other jurisdictions. So if a person who is already on the list here in Alamance commits a crime in Orange or Guilford, we can coordinate with those offices. Working together to minimize gaps in the system and maximize penalties. Boone's main focus is getting guns off the streets, stopping the problem before it becomes one. Once you pull the trigger, that bullet is going to determine your future. And we're not going to let uh, let we're not going to let people pull the trigger irresponsibly and get away with it. It's a warning to those committing low-level crimes that could lead to something more serious in the future. If you continue your criminal lifestyle, we're going to we're going to make sure that we get everything we can. But if you show signs of changing and uh, and we can we can sort of you know see that, then uh, then we want as much as anybody to to see people live a good productive life. The DA tells me since he finalized this list at the beginning of this month, one person on it has already died from gun violence. He says the main problems he's seeing are minors with guns, stolen guns, and guns without serial numbers. Live in Graham, Caroline Boyer, Fox 8 News. Caroline, thank you.